people love boats built in Maine. They, they absolutely, they know Maine, they know what we do, and they know the styles and the, and the quality of the product. And uh, it's, it's um, they're welcome, they welcome our products. If you were to define kind of a cross-section of a Sabre owner, what is that person all about? Generally speaking, they're mature boaters who know what they want. They've come to a point where probably their kids are graduated from college and they feel like they just got a very big raise and now they're ready to go out and buy something that's special, that's unique to them, that they can really enjoy. The rest of the industry is out there designing big, open concept boats that are very big and very accommodating, but they're not a whole lot of fun to sail. We decide what the hull shape is going to be and then we see what we can put in the interior that matches up with people's expectations. At the outset, each sailboat is very unique, whereas most power boats can be kind of photocopied up to size. We like to be in both businesses because it represents the whole cross-section of the industry. Was time a big factor in developing the Sabre spirit, the day sailor, the weekender? Absolutely. We saw a lot of people leaving sail because they didn't have the time to use their long-range cruising boats. So making something that gave somebody the ability to go down to the, to the marina or the yacht club, jump on board and be sailing in two minutes was critical to making that boat successful. Right now there's a downward trend. Uh, people are buying smaller boats and um, we've put ourselves in this category of from 26 foot up to 52 feet. We've got people coming down from 75 footers and we've got people coming up from 30 footers. So we're in a good position. The beautiful thing about what we do here, which I call semi-custom or semi-production, whatever you want to call it, it's a, a flexible manufacturing system where a customer can actually change something without it being really obvious to the person who's putting it together on the shop floor. By the way, the guys in the shop love doing custom stuff because if you had to do the same thing every day, you'd get bored. So they like doing different things. We work with customers to make customers happy people, so that makes them happy when they can change or twist something around. We also follow up our sales now by sending an individual out to be with the customer for a few hours or a day or whatever it takes to make sure they're familiar with their boat. It's really been a very good time for us. People love main built boats. They see them as, as something to move up to from a, a white plastic boat that's built somewhere else in the country. And uh, our business has continued to grow for the last 14 years. We've gone from 40 employees in 1993 and today we're at about 275 and very proud of it. If there's one thing that we do, it's our people. And they're always willing to learn, they're always willing to step it up, they're always, always interested in doing something new. So for us, there's no question, our folks just embrace anything that comes their way. I really believe that these folks that were brought up in this rural environment and uh, worked around the house, worked with their dad, their mom, whatever, to fix the house, fix the car, fix the tractor, uh, they're just people who know how to do it and do it right. Main built boats are special because of the people who build them. And I really think that the integrity with which we build these boats and the number of people that are involved in the industry that have a real desire to build the best boats possible. We all do something that's a little bit different, but in my travels, certainly around the state, around the country, and around the world, I always felt that people knew that Maine built good boats, but they really didn't comprehend what it was that we did. And this MBBO initiative will really get the word out there and tell people what it is that we really do.